بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ٹوڈے وی گو ٹاک اباؤٹ سم تھنگ ویری امپارٹنٹ اینڈ انٹرسٹنگ ان کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ دیٹ از دی ایلیمنٹس آف پبلک پالیسی ناؤ وین یو لک ایٹ پبلک پالیسی دین دوز آر آل دوز پالیسیز وچ ٹین ٹو افیکٹ دا پبلک ایٹ لارج دے آر میڈ بائی دی گورمنٹ اینڈ دے آر دین فردر سپورٹیڈ بائی ڈفرینٹ اسٹریٹجیز اینڈ بائی ڈفرینٹ لاز پبلک پالیسی ان اینی کنٹری از ویری امپارٹنٹ فار ایگزامپل ان پاکستان دی public policy on education, uh, the policy on health, uh, the po- policy for poverty elevation, the policy uh, for uh, foreign affairs, uh, the, the Kashmir policy. All of these are different public policies and they tend to uh, affect uh, not only the citizens but also the different stakeholders and elements uh, of a particular society. Now when we're talking about elements of public policy, then it is very important that the government determines its course of action on the basis of several factors such as economic or foreign policy. All of inputs can help shape what the government chooses to do and how it chooses uh, to do it. So that is very important that what does the government choose to do and then how it is going to be implemented. Now when we talk about policies in the context of the corporate sector, then economic policies are extremely important or financial policies are very important. Uh, and therefore, opportunities are created for investors to come and uh, make their businesses thrive, which would in the long run also lead to employability and also to uh, foreign exchange uh, accumulation. So all of those things are very important when we're talking about different public policies. Public policy goals can be ideal oriented or narrow and self-serving. So again, policies uh, can be uh, idealistic, like for example, Uh, becoming a fully developed nation by the year 2025 uh, or they could be narrow and self-serving. Uh, national values such as freedom, democracy and equitable distribution of income uh, have led to the adoption of civil rights laws. So again, at a national level what we see uh, three very important uh, national values are freedom, democracy and equitable distribution of income. And that again becomes the very fundamentals of civil rights law or of human rights law. Uh, in budget negotiations, much discussion is focused on alternative ways to raise revenue, graduating tax rates for individuals and businesses. Public policy actions always have effects. Some are intended, while others are unintended. Regulations may cause business to improve uh, the way toxic substances are used in the workplace, thus reducing health risk to employees. So again, as an example, uh, we can look at uh, a policy and that would be uh, to have uh, a safety and security policy. whereby the toxic waste of a particular industry, they are uh, utilized in such a way that they re- reduce the health risks to the employees and that is uh, extremely important. Uh, when we're talking about the elements of public policy, it is important for managers to develop answers to the following four questions. Number one, uh, what inputs will affect public policy? Uh, number two, what goals are to be achieved? Number three, what instruments are being used to achieve those goals? And lastly, what effects intended and unintended are likely to occur. So ladies and gentlemen, we see that public policy also is a very important dimension of corporate governance because it directly or indirectly tends to affect different organizations, their current businesses and their future businesses. And therefore, they are very important stakeholder in defining and in enumerating the public policies which are related uh, to different sectors and to different circumstances. And these four questions, uh, what inputs will affect public policy, what goals are to be achieved, what instruments are being used uh, to achieve those goals, and what are the intended and unintended effects uh, likely to occur. So they would tend to be able to then define the different elements of public policy. Thank you very much.